Hello everyone and welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and remember back a couple years ago when GNS3 first came out and you were able to fire up your first virtual router on either a laptop or your computer. It was actually a pretty good day wasn't it? You were able to play around with Cisco IOS without messing with the real router. So that was nice. Now what we're going to do is we're going to recreate that feeling hopefully by using Arista VOS so you'll actually have decent switches inside of GNS3. So from our previous video we created the Arista 1 VM. Very easy here. In this video we're going to do two Arista switches and all we need to do inside a virtual box is clone this VM. So right click on that VM and clone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to call this Arista 2 and then reinitialize the MAC addresses of all the network cards and click Next. It's going to be a full clone and now Arista 1 and Arista 2 is ready inside a virtual box. Then we're going to open up GNS3. We're going to have to set up our preferences so Edit and Preferences and then click down here to Virtual Box. Now if you've never used the Virtual Box option inside of GNS3 before you probably want to click Test make sure everything comes up green. Also before we continue you really should be using GNS3 8.7 so 0.8.7 if you're trying to do this inside of GNS3 1.0 beta 3 this is not going to work too well because you're only limited to a single virtual box instance so hopefully uh, that will be fixed in the future but this is October 12th and we're limited on the beta version to one virtual box. Okay, going over to VirtualBox Guest, we're going to have to add in our Arista switches here. And it's very easy. We're going to call this first one Arista. This is how GNS3 is going to see it. And we click the drop down, see it lists our Arista 1 and Arista 2. And that's what's cool about GNS3 and VirtualBox. They play very nice together. As far as virtual NICs, let's give ourselves, let's give ourselves five virtual NICs. And we give ourselves five because the first one is going to the management interface. So really we only have four real ones. Make sure this show advanced options is checked. And that way you get to pick the NIC model. And we're going to pick E1000. Uncheck reserve first NIC for virtual NAT. We're going to enable console support and start in headless mode. And everything else looks good. We're going to click on save. Now we're going to make our second Arista box. It's going to be Arista 2. Click the drop down, find Arista 2, and everything else is the same. It's actually really easy. Click on Save, click on OK. All right, time to drag in our Arista switches. And it's very simple, just like GNS3 makes it. Virtual Box Guest, we're going to drag in Virtual Box Guest. Click the drop down, Arista. Drag in another Virtual Box Guest and it's going to be Arista 2. And let's drag in two Cisco 3725 routers. Hopefully you have those images already set up. And we're going to connect everything together. We're going to click on this symbol right here, Show Interface Labels. Click on the Interface Add Link button. Click on Manual. And yeah, let's see, we're going to go on R1, Fast00 to Arista. Let's go E1. Go over here to R2, Fast00. To E1 of Arista 2. And between the Arista switches, let's do uh, let's do E2. E2 to E2. So that's going to be our trunk link. Click on play, and you'll notice on our VirtualBox side, GNS3 is talking with VirtualBox. It's pretty cool. It's starting those Arista switches. So you don't need to really touch VirtualBox. Okay, we have green all around. We're going to click on console to all devices. And our routers come up fairly quickly. And the Arista boxes are going to take a little bit longer. And that headless mode that we clicked on, what that's actually doing is, you can see in the console window for Arista, nothing's coming up. But if you go over to the virtual box, you'll see that uh, we have stuff in here. So this is the true true setting of what's going on but after you get the admin login then this uh, GNS3 window is going to show some activity so that's what they mean by headless mode okay while we're waiting we're gonna 
move the VirtualBox link over a little bit, that window, resize it, resize our GNS3 and get back our terminal windows. And Arista is up. All right, let's set up our switches. Gonna go admin into Arista1 and change the host name to SW1. So we know that router one's connected to int E1 and uh, which port the trunk link is int E2. What we're gonna do is gonna go int E3 to four and shut those down just for housekeeping. We don't want things looping back into, into the switches. Go into int E1, switch port access VLAN five and create VLAN five. Going to go into int E2, and that's going to be switch port mode trunk, and that's going to carry that VLAN 5 over. Going to go over here to Arista 2, log in there. Hostname switch 2, and let's make our VLAN first. Going to int E1, switch port access VLAN 5. Remember, that's the link towards router 2. And then our switch port mode trunk on interface ethernet 2. Everything should be good there. We'll go to router 1, set up a simple IP address, an easy IP address on fast 0. So all 1 slash 24. Then we'll go to router 2, IP address 1112 slash 24, no shut. All right, let's see if this thing actually works. Ping 1112. And we have a successful ping. Let's do a stress test. Let's do repeat 1000. Let's see if it drops any pings. Okay, we have pings going. And let's see what happens if we take out our trunk link. So we're going to go into interface E2, switch from one trunk. So let's do a switch port trunk allowed VLAN remove five so as soon as i hit enter that should die and it died just as we would expect on a real switch all right so you can play around with this a little bit more if you want but when you're ready to stop what you're going to do is you're going to click this stop button up here inside of gns3 it's going to stop all the nodes and then you're going to have a couple more extra steps you're going to go over here to your virtual box. You can see things are still running. And what you could do is you could hold down control and pick all your boxes, all your VMs, and then just right click, go down to close and power off. And it's going to power everything off. So that's what I do if I've got four switches running. I just hold down control, select everything, right click and power off. So that's a quick and easy video of getting Arista switches inside of GNS3 using VirtualBox. Once again, my name is Humphrey Chung with Router Gods. Thanks for watching.